Hello guys, a beautiful Monday morning to everyone. Today I come up with a very useful and important topic and in this tutorial I am going to cover the complete automated Jenkins pipeline in order to build the Docker image and container deployment. Guys, I am covering this topic today because recently I had been requested by one of my viewers and he was in urgent need and he wanted to understand the complete flow of Jenkins pipeline in order to build the image and the deployments of the container and that is the reason that today I am taking this topic in advance. Hello guys, my name is Avinas and you are watching the learning destinations. If you haven't yet subscribed my channel, then please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon as well. So now let's understand the today's agenda. In this tutorial, the first sections I am going to create the Jenkins files. So under the Jenkins files, we are going to see that what kind of syntax is needed in order to create the Docker image. And finally, what kind of syntax is needed to run our first container on the target node. After that, we will see that how we can write the Docker file. And under this Docker file, I am going to use one lightweight CentOS image. Mm -hmm. Finally, we will create the GitLab repository because in order to run our Jenkins pipeline, we should, we should push these two files, Jenkins file and Docker file into our repository. And that's the reason that we need one of the GitLab repository. It may be the GitHub also, but since I am using the GitLab, that's why I have mentioned here the GitLab. After that, we require the Docker Hub credentials because ultimately we are going to push this customized Docker image inside the Docker Hub so we can pull it from the target node and run it uh, on as a container on our target node. And that's the reason that we are going to see that where we can define the Docker Hub credential inside the Jenkins. Guys, there are some plugins required in order to achieve all these things. So we are going to see that what kind of plugins are required in order to achieve these steps. Finally, we will create our first pipeline jobs. After that, we will trigger the job and verify that whether all the process of the automations is occurring successfully or not. Finally, we will come under the automation sections and we will see that how we can automate in entire these pipelines through by setting the webhook inside the GitLab. It means that in this process, we are going to learn that how we can set up the webhook as well. So whenever the developer pushes any changes, introduces any changes, the job will be automatically getting triggered. Okay guys, so now I'm going to explain you the Jenkins files and this is the syntax which I am going to write and which is written inside the scripted pipeline. So this is kind of a scripted pipeline. I am not using as of now the declarative pipeline. So don't get confused because when you use the declarative pipeline, you must start with the pipeline. When you use the scripted pipeline, you can start with the node. And that is the biggest identifications between the declarative pipeline and the scripted pipeline. So here I am taking the node as a slave hyper node. Guys, if you remember, this section I have previously, I have already covered that how you can set up the Jenkins slab node inside the Jenkins. So if you haven't yet watched, you can go to my playlist, Jenkins playlist, and you can watch this tutorial. So there I have prepared one of the slab node and I have given the name slab hyper node, which I am using here. Then after that, the step is given the checkout SCM. Basically, it is the step as you... If you are not aware, then let me clarify you that whenever you want to check the update from the source code management, you need to define these sections. After that, I have defined the first stage and the first stage is building image. And under this, I am using this official syntax, which is given on the Jenkins website where from where I have taken. So you don't need to worry. Link, I'm going to copy it inside the descriptions. You can take it from there. So it is saying that Docker with the registry, then this is the address of the Docker Hub registry. And this is the credentials, Docker hyphen hub. This is the ID of my credentials, uh, Docker Hub credentials, which I have given inside the Jenkins. I will show you later on, on in this tutorial as well. So just now I am just giving you the glism of the syntax so you will have complete understanding. Then after that, in this step, I'm building the Docker image using the Docker file. And this is my repository, Avinash Mato slash pipeline. This is my Docker Hub repository, which I made public 
and I am giving the tag latest. Here you can give the tag of the build number as well. You need to use the syntax something like that dollar and then curly braces open close and inside that you need to give build underscore number. Then here the custom image dot push. It means that it will push the it will build the image and then finally it will push the custom image inside this Docker Hub repository. After that, finally under the stage called deploy, here I am deploying uh, one of the container using this particular Docker customized image and which is pulling directly from this particular repository, Avinash Mato pipeline. So this is the explanation about the Jenkins. Guys, as I mentioned earlier that I am going to use one light based Docker image and that light based Docker image I have created from this particular Docker file. So I haven't defined here the multiple commands. If I define here the multiple commands, it will create the multiple layers and that ultimately increase the size of the Docker image, which I do not want. So I have simply given one of the light based CentOS image and I'm just running one of the, installing one of the HTTPD package and running one of the simple echo command hello world. Guys, now I'm going to show you that how you can define the Docker Hub credentials under the Docker credit under the Jenkins credential section. So you need to go manage Jenkins. The steps are quite easy. Manage credentials. And then you need to go there. After that, you need to click here global credentials, then add credentials. And you need to select the same username and password. And here you can define your own Docker Hub username, password, and the ID, which you can call it inside your pipeline script. So, so the same way I have created my Docker Hub ID here. And you can see that this is the ID Docker hyphen hub. And that is the same I am going to use inside my Jenkins files. Now let's create our repository. So I already logged in inside my GitLab repository and I'm going to create one of the repository. So let me create it repository here. We can go to projects. And then there is options create new project. Create blank project and giving it the name, let's say Docker automation. And this is I'm calling it public just for now, but I do not recommend that you should make it public. Create project. So now you can see that I have successfully created the project Docker hyphen automations. Now let me create two files. One, I'm going to create the Jenkins files. Jenkins files and the syntax which I have shown you that I am going to use the scripted pipeline. So syntax I have already prepared in order to save our time. Otherwise, this tutorial will be the I want to finish it as soon as possible and I want to keep it shorter. So that is OK. And we can put some comment here. Add it. Jenkins file and I'm committing it inside the main branch. So commit changes. Now we need to create another file, the Docker file, so we can build the customized image. So I'm going to create another file and I call it as a Docker file. Docker file. And I'm going to use this syntax. Pretty much simple, lightweight. And I say added Docker file. That's pretty much enough. Okay. So to build our Jenkins pipeline, these two files were needed, which we have already prepared: Docker file and Jenkins file. Now time to create the Jenkins pipeline. So I'm going to create one pipeline and I'm going to give it name Docker Automation. Okay. And I'm using as a pipeline. Say okay. Now we need to configure and we need to give this SCM URL. 
So you can copy this URL from here and come down. And here you can select pipeline script from SCN, okay, source code management. And here I'm going to use this URL and set since I make it this repository, I kept this repository as a public, so you don't need to define here credentials. If you make private, you need to define here credential and credentials, you can create the same place under the manage Jenkins, Jenkins credential, the same way which I have defined for Docker Hub. And the ID will be displayed here, you can take it from there, okay? So, but since I have already made this as a public repo, that's why I don't need to define credential here that this branch is main branch and from where the script path we are going to call from Jenkins files okay now apply and save it so our pipeline is ready docker automations now it's time to build and verify so i received some error maybe there is some internet problem so maybe let me rebuild it again so i just trigger now once again and let's see from here. So now you can see that it has been successfully logged in inside the Docker Hub. And login succeeded, you can see the message here. And up now it is trying to build the image with the tag Avinash Mato Pipeline, which is the Docker Hub repository. And it is giving the tag latest. So now you can see that it is building the image. So I guess it will take some time. Let me pause this video and once this is complete, I will be back. I think it's completed now. So no, I don't need to pause here because it's, the process is quick. It is fast. So let it run. Now you can see that now it is pushing the registry here. By the way, let me check that under this pipeline. So it is preparing the image. Now it is pushing the image. And as of now, there is no tag inside this repository, Avinash Mahato pipeline. So once this process is finished, we can see that the image should be here with the tag latest. So now the pipeline is completely successful. Now let's refresh it here and check that whether it has been successfully pushed or not. So now you can see that we have successfully the Docker image tag is latest and you can see the timing as well here a few seconds ago, right? And the job is successfully running. It means that this job has been successfully pushed this image under the tag of latest inside the Docker Hub, inside the Docker Hub repository of Inash Mato pipeline and the tag is latest, okay? Now let's check that whether it's run this particular uh, container or not, okay? So this is the machines, this is the target machines actually where I pointed to run the container. So let's check firstly the images and you can see it has been successfully pushed the image and pull it as well. Now let's check the container. So you can see here, I have given the container name DevOps and it has been created just a minute ago. It means that we have completely seen that the pipeline is completely working in order to push our Docker image as well as creating the container as well. So this is the container name DevOps. You can see here, this is DevOps and uh, let me show you the same container name I have given the DevOps, which just now it is created. So now this container has been successfully deployed and as well as we can see the job, the status is success. Guys, one more thing I would like to highlight. If you see that right now, the image is getting stored 
or image it getting pushed with the tag latest but in order to align with the build number you want to align this tag with the build number let's suppose that right now the build number is 3 and uh, you want to give the tag as per the build number it means that if i have mentioned here the build number right the tag the uh, the tag should become 3 avinash mato slash pipeline slash uh, column 3 the image name should be like this right so in order to achieve the tag number with the build number you need to use this syntax particular environment dot build id and as of now you can see that inside the syntax i have given the latest so you can change the latest with the particular build number so next time whenever next time when you trigger the job the build number will be four and the four number tag will be posted here okay so you need to change here rather than latest you need to mention this environment dot build dot id so this is one of the point which i would like to highlight also okay guys so now now time to do the automations of this pipeline so as of now you can see that we have created the pipeline but as of now we are just triggering it manually right but in order to make it completely fully automated jobs we need to set up the webhook and how we can do that now i am going to show you so this is my project right so you come here the docker automation which is the project name go to the setting and go to the setting and go to the integrations part now integration part gives you the facility to integrate your gitlab with multiple tools here you need to go with the jenkins now you need to put the url of the jenkins so this is the url and you need to give the project name so what is the project name is docker hyphen automation this is our project name docker hyphen automation so you need to define here docker hyphen automation then you need to define here the username username and password of your jenkins so my username is avinas basically and the password i need to give here and that's all you need to save changes so next time whenever you make any changes inside this repository this job will be automatically triggered and that's how we can achieve the complete fully automated jenkins pipeline in order to build the docker image and container deployment on the target node guys as of now let me show you one thing uh, as of now if i do test settings it won't work why it is getting failed because my this machines is running on oracle virtual box machine which is not accessible over the internet but when you run your jenkins job inside the ec2 instance where the internet connectivity is available you can access your jenkins url publicly then this setting will completely work guys okay so don't get confused my testing is getting failed because it is not internet uh, publicly accessible over the internet this jenkins node is running on the oracle virtual machines but if you use the ec2 instance that is the publicly accessible ip address and you can use here as a jenkins url right here as a jenkins url and in your case it will be completely worked guys that's all for the day guys i hope you really enjoyed this sessions if you have any questions please don't feel shy write me in the comment sections your feedback and suggestions are always welcome and appreciated guys one more request please don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon share my channel as much as you can with your colleague and friends stay tuned with the learning destinations for upcoming lectures i will see you soon with some more new technology and tools till the time bye bye thank you so much for watching this you have a good day